Hi everyone, this is Cat Search again. Thank you for the undying support for the videos and we have come so far and we would think that you should be almost an expert in cancer management now. Am I right? So this week we are going to discuss about cancer post-treatment surveillance. This is about the battle that is never going to end. And this is about how to follow up your patients after a major surgery. Let's go. As usual, we always start with the definition. Remember this, surveillance is always post-definitive treatment. The patient have already done either a definitive surgery or have already done CCRT. CCRT is a combined chemo radiotherapy. Surveillance is the follow up done by the clinicians. My clinicians here is the surgeons to detect recurrence in order to detect recurrence we must always go back to triple assessment it is the same thing clinical imaging and histology for those who don't know about this can always go back to the previous videos and you have to examine back the surgical area and the most important thing is to examine the nutrition and the performance of the patient even though the patient has already done a major surgery for imaging the best so far for surveillance is still a contrast enhanced ct scan in some instances you still can use a pet scan so that one is to detect and for any recurrence as well also for any kind of GI cancer such as stomach, colon, scopes must be done. So how about tumor markers? It is one of my favorite topic because a lot of my students they are confused with these tumor markers. What are the examples of tumor markers? We can have a carcinogenic embryonic antigen CA. We can have a car carcinogen antigen CA eight or other things like beta HCG. We can have PSA, right? There are a lot of uh, tumor markers, but remember this: most of these tumor markers they are not sensitive, but some of them are. Maybe they are specific. Sensitivity is the ability to exclude false negative. That means if it is positive, you can take it as such as positive. Specificity is the ability to exclude false positive. That means if it is negative, <coughs> we can very sure that it is negative. And that preoperatively, if the tumor markers is elevated, uh -huh. then it will be useful for you to examine the tumor markers in every follow-up clinic. Let me draw a timeline. Let's say the patient has a diagnosis here. And you have already given a strategy number one, which is the upfront surgery. You have done the surgery here. Right. During the diagnosis, you should be already taken a tumor marker over here. Post-operatively, you must already done another tumor marker. So this is called a baseline tumor marker. And this is a post-surgery. Or we said a post-op tumor marker. Then, during the every visit for surveillance, visit number one, visit number two, visit number three, this is the baseline of the visits and it was elevated preoperatively. You would expect after definitive surgery, it should reduce. 
then you also have an adjuvant therapy let's say you've done the adjuvant therapy over here and we visit you will take the tumor marker it should come down because it was elevated in space time if of the visit that it was elevated that means you have to go back to triple assessment to detect the recurrence so uh, what modalities to be used depends it depends on what cancer for example if the colon cancer the best so far is still a colonoscope and you come down to a CT scan and you can also use a PET scan to detect recurrence the caveat is in some instances some tumor the baseline tumor marker is normal or low for this kind of cases post-operatively you would not expect the tumor marker will increase and it's also quite useless for you to mm, take tumor marker in every visit if the baseline is not been taken so practically what happened was somehow they forgot to take this baseline tumor marker for the specific tumor we are blinded we don't know what's happening so for that kind of a situation post-operatively you have to take it like a baseline and if it is reduced we also we don't know is it because of the definitive surgery that causing the tumor marker to be reduced or the tumor marker might reduce from the start so this is something i always um, highlighted during the clinical setting so remember when you have already diagnosed a patient please remember to take the baseline tumor marker so that during the surveillance it's easier for us to do a lot of students ask me what surveillance follow up how's the schedule like there is no hard and fast rule there are guidelines available for most common cancers the principle is as such you have a patient from diagnosis and you have already done the surgery let's say you have already done the adjuvant therapy how are you going to make sure the schedule to follow out the patient so let's say the epidemiology of this cancer is six months to one year so how often should you review the patients after the treatment in order for you to detect recurrence without wasting so much time and resources for patients visit the principle is that you half it take a half life let's say six months is the earliest to detect a cancer so it will be three monthly so every three months you will review the patient after the surgery right the rule of thumb is is as frequent you review the patient you will detect early for any sort of recurrence however if you do too frequently it's a hassle for the patient and the surgeons and also you might be using a lot of time and resources just for that one patient so that's why the schedule you must think about it once I already done the surgery and the patient is going for adjuvant therapy I would always review the patient every month I will review the patient for nutrition yes it's for recurrence but if in the less than three months if there is a recurrence what does that mean probably it just meant that the definitive surgery has not been done well and instead of labeling this at recurrence this is actually the progression of disease the patient must be able to finish the 
adjuvant therapy with good nutrition. Once the patient has already done the adjuvant therapy, it might be 6 months, it might be 3 months, it might be 1 year, I will always do the tumor markers every 3 monthly and this started from the definitive surgery and CT scan imaging study will always 6 months to 1 year let's say it's a GI cancer you need to do scopes you can do scopes probably 6 months to 1 year and it depends on the local guideline as well always review back at the local guidelines what I'm discussing here the principle of a surveillance next we are going to talk about disease free survival when you are talking about surveillance disease free survival is very important is only for the early and advanced cancer still remember what is early what is advanced right is the stage 0 stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 we will assume that the patient is disease free when he or she has already undergone a definitive surgery Adjuvant therapy per se is much for prevention of recurrence. Time of definitive treatment, which is the surgery, until the recurrence. This is what we call a disease free survival. It can be recurrence or the patient is dead. This index is very important. It's a primary endpoint for most of the phase 3 randomized control trial. Mm, it is more accurate. Next, what we are going to talk about is overall survival. Overall survival, the concept is a bit different. The overall survival is from the time of diagnosis until the time of death yes the difference is overall survival it take consideration of uh, the death as well maybe it's a breast cancer patient but after surgery and adjuvant therapy a patient was very happy and suddenly there's a road traffic accident that caused death that is included in overall survival that's why for most of the study nowadays we don't really look at overall survival we are looking at disease free survival surveillance is one of the most important step for managing cancer as a whole I advocate that all of us have a database for all the cancer patients like we have a cancer registry or for those countries who doesn't have cancer registry we ourselves should follow the patients up and able to follow up the epidemiology of local cancers with that we could actually prevent cancers from happening this video is very very light and i hope to clear some smokes among us feel free to discuss in the discussion panel below as usual if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and don't forget the bell and hit the notification button so next week we are going to talk more about cancer management and this is K-Search. Bye.